Let's talk about your nose. Is it too wide? Too narrow? Long or short? Does it have tiny pits that no one else will detect? Most of us are guilty of not being satisfied with the man in the mirror. But when this wrong dissatisfaction becomes an obsession, it's highly unlikely that you're not just being vain, but in reality, suffering from body dysmorphic disorder. What exactly is body dysmorphic disorder? Body dysmorphic disorder is a mental disorder where one is unhappy with their appearance, resulting in an obsession with their flaws, thereby hindering their ability to lead a normal life. This flaw could either be a figment of the victim's imagination, or when actually present, is less significant than it is perceived by the victim. The obsession can be focused on any part of the body, but is more commonly focused on the face, hair, stomach, thighs, or hips. Sufferers of BDD on average may spend around 3 to 8 hours per day thinking, repeatedly checking, and comparing the perceived flaw. BDD usually starts in adolescence and affects both men and women equally. In an attempt to hide their flaw, victims of BDD may resort to excessive grooming techniques as well as avoid social contact. Some may even seek dermatological treatments or cosmetic surgery, which generally doesn't resolve the distress. Due to the distress caused by the flaws, some victims of BDD experience depression, social anxiety, and suicidal thoughts. They may also experience delusions that other people are constantly talking about their flaws. The cause for BDD is thought to be an amalgamation of genetics, environmental, psychological, biological, social, and cultural factors. Its neurological basis is as interesting as the disease itself. BDD has also been associated with visual processing abnormalities and executive dysfunction, meaning a victim of BDD has a bias for analyzing fine details rather than looking at the big picture. When you are seeing a face, the eyes send signals to the occipital cortex and then to the fusiform face area, where the details of the face are analyzed. It was shown that people with BDD seem to have a more detailed analysis of the facial features compared to healthy individuals. For example, they focus on the flaw in their face and cannot see beyond it, and are unable to see what the face looks like on the whole. The goal of treating BDD is to minimize the false beliefs about the defects, as well as minimize the compulsive behavior that follows as a result of it. As BDD shares features with obsessive compulsive disorder, the treatment of BDD is similar to OCD and is treatment with a combination of medication and cognitive behavioral therapy. At present, there isn't any FDA-approved drug to treat BDD, but antidepressants and antipsychotics are prescribed to treat the symptoms of BDD. BDD is not a quest to increase one's appearance, but a quest to normalize the appearance.